So to install the back plate, first thing you have to do is get the back plate and the four double sided screws and your motherboard. So what you gotta do now is flip your motherboard to the other side and we got the back plate. You'll see that there's a side in the back plate that has, as you can see, two spaces for two screws. This side doesn't have it. So this is for these two screws over here. So <clears throat> you install this here. Make sure they have been inserted into the You gotta move these, as you can see, to accommodate your socket. So I'm trying to. So now the four sides are inserted, you flip your motherboard again and install the double sided screws in this manner. So that's installing the back plate. So now we're gonna install the pump. So first off, as you can see there is this cap over the the pump. So gotta remove this. So remove this put it aside. You have to have these four screws ready. Uh, these ones. Okay. So you've got to anticipate uh, which side you're going to have the, the radiator on and which side you're going to have the pump on so I myself I want the pump to be like this I want it to be like this so I insert the pump then get these screws, the ones that I showed you. Focus. And then install them in a cross style as I did with the ones before. installed the pump onto my CPU I've got to insert now the the header that comes out of the pump itself into the power fan header so everyone who's gonna install an hydro series cooler into their 
computer, whatever it is, H50, H60, H70, H80, H100, you gotta you gotta put the pump in, into the power fan header. It's PWR underscore fan. So now to step four, installing the radiator itself onto the side panel, uh, not, not the side panel, to the back of your case or to the top of your case. But in this situation, I'm going to be installing it to the back of the case. It's the same principle when installing it to the top of the case. So first off, you got to get the rad itself configured, right? So as you can see, I've got it as a tight fit so now you get your fan so this is the one I'm going to be using this is a CM Excalibur fan I'll post the link to the unboxing of this of this fan in an annotation somewhere here so you gotta choose which configuration you want to use the fan with so I'm going to be using it as an exhaust fan so exhaust so I'm gonna be using it like this if you can see it, right so you gotta get four of this long screw they are included and you get four of this washer and you put the washer in between in between the case itself and the screw so now I put this to the side first off leave the radiator on the side and try to insert the screws into the fan itself So inserting, inserting the four screws into the fan itself before the before inserting them into the radiator. So first, you gotta install the washers in between them. So each screw must have a washer between it, uh, between it and the case. Like this, as you can see. I know this is taking too long, this video is taking too long, but this is a step by step installation guide for everyone who needs any help in installing their H60, H70, any hydro series cooler from Corsair. So after tightening the fan, you must get the connector, as you can see, put this into the CPU fan header. So this part is over. 